Hello and thanks for joining us for 31 Days of Oscar. I'm Dave Cardger. We're taking a look at the two Academy Award winners for Best Cinematography for the year of 1949. And we just showed you William Wellman's Battleground, which earned an Oscar for Paul Vogel's Black and White Cinematography. Up next is the winner for Best Color Cinematography for that same year. From RKO Pictures, directed by John Ford and starring John Wayne, it's She Wore a Yellow Ribbon. Based on the short stories The Big Hunt and War Party, written by frequent John Ford collaborator James Warner Bella, it follows the story of Captain Nathan Cutting Brittles, played here by the Duke, on the eve of his retirement from the cavalry. But before Captain Brittles can officially call it quits, he must complete one final patrol mission, which is complicated by the presence of his wife and niece of his commanding officer. She Wore a Yellow Ribbon is the second installment in John Ford's Cavalry Trilogy. The other two films, also adapted from James Warner Bella's short stories, 1948's Fort Apache and Rio Grande from 1950. In pre-production for this film, Ford used the paintings of the acclaimed Western artist Frederick Remington as inspiration, and he insisted it be shot in Technicolor. Ford hired Winton C. Hoke as cinematographer, with whom he had previously worked on Three Godfathers from 1948. Hoke was a former chemist and was instrumental in the development of the Technicolor process in the 1930s and was considered to be one of the finest color cinematographers in Hollywood. He won the Academy Award for Best Color Cinematography, this film's only nomination. Also starring Joanne Drew and featuring John Ford regulars Harry Carey Jr., Victor McLaughlin, and George O'Brien, here's She Wore a Yellow Ribbon. Winton C. Hoke won back-to-back -back Oscars for color cinematography on 1948's Joan of Arc and 1949's She Wore a Yellow Ribbon, a record he held until John Toll won for Legends of the Fall in 1994 and Braveheart for the year 1995. During the production of She Wore a Yellow Ribbon, tensions were high between John Ford and Hoke. For one scene, Ford ordered Hoke to film a sequence with rolling clouds. Hoke disagreed, believing there wasn't sufficient light for the shot. Hoke relented to Ford's demands, but not without filing a complaint with the American Society of Cinematographers, citing the scene as unacceptable. But the shot remained in the film and contributed to his Oscar win. Despite their differences, Ford and Hoke worked together three more times, 1952's The Quiet Man, which earned Hoke his third and final color cinematography Oscar, Mr. Roberts from 1955, and The Searchers from 1956. Coming up next, we'll give you a chance to see which Shakespearean role is Laurence Olivier's best.